welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be doing a 10,000 mile review. Good, bad, not really any ugly. And uh, obviously, uh, the header, you see that we had a, a growing windshield crack, so we'll get to that as well. But uh, first, I'd like to thank everybody who has subscribed and liked, and rang the bell and all that kind of stuff. I really appreciate it. Hopefully we get some more people so um, more people can see these kind of things. But uh, yeah, the Bronco's got a little bit over uh, 10,000 miles, almost 11,000 by now. Um, and uh, all I can say is this Bronco has did excellent. I've really not had any problems with this thing whatsoever. Just to go over really quick, this is a, a four-door Sasquatch 2.7 um, Lux package. And uh, so it's got all the bells and whistles on it. Um, one thing we don't have is a hard top. And I really wanted a hard top. I was not wanting the soft top, but uh, I didn't want the Bronco. So uh, you know how that goes. Everybody's heard about all these kind of problems, um, but uh, with the hard tops. But um, anyway, we opted for the soft top and honestly, um, I like it a lot better than I thought I was gonna like it. So, um, yeah, I haven't had it off all the way. Um, I've had the sides off, I've had the, the front part of it pulled back, but I haven't had that top all the way off yet. So, can't comment on that, can't wait to have it off. I actually got this uh, Bronco in October, early October. Just not a lot of warm, super warm days uh, by the time I got it to actually get the top off. Um, we had a couple 80 degree days there and then you know a lot of 70s and it's just not worth it to take it off for 70 degree day. But I'm looking forward to it. Spring's coming up so we'll get it off and I have a good time with it. Um, but uh, as far as everything else goes, um, the engine's been pretty much flawless. Um, I had had one issue. Uh, one of the turbo pipes was loose from the factory. So um, I had a warning on that and took it in and they tightened it up and uh, no problems uh, since that at all. And other than that, we have had an oil change. Getting ready to have another one here. Definitely uh, want to make sure you get the full amount of oil in there. So make sure when you all do do an oil change, if you're not doing it yourself, that they do do the proper amount of oil in there. Uh, there's an extra quart. Um, so make sure that that's the correct amount. Um, for the 2.7 anyway. Actual uh, tires, uh, the Goodyear's, I don't see any problem with them. I've liked them. I've had them in water. I've had them in snow. Actually had them in a little bit of ice. No problem whatsoever. Got along great. Um, I haven't really had this thing off-roaded yet. Um, I did take it off into a small little five-minute trail, but uh, nothing major, nothing to actually do a video on. Um, but we're getting there. Uh, this is our dry season down in this part of the country. We're kind of in the Ozar wet season's coming up. That might be kind of fun to get out and uh, do some wet wet season off-roading. Overall quality, I haven't had any problems whatsoever. Everything's been great. Um, I uh, I love the quality. I have the washout interior on this, not the leather. Uh, steel bumpers, all that kind of stuff. The, the body panels, everything's straight. There's no quality issues whatsoever. Um, interior wise perfect and have any problems whatsoever soundproofing wise pretty good um, now this is a soft top and actually right now it's probably one of the more windy times we have so when you are you know running down the, the roads you know you will hear some noise as semis go by if it's a super windy day like it is right now uh, you'll hear that wind um, it's not obviously very soundproof, but much better than I thought, honestly. So as far as that goes, you know, uh, pretty darn good for a soft top. Um, with the Lux package, you do get the you do get the um, underneath the hood on the actual hood on the, on the underside. You get the insulation under there, and I think the high package may have that as well. Um, so that makes a big difference uh, as far as power goes. I'm loving this 2.7 liter. This thing is just an amazing power for for a twin turbo uh, little V6. Uh, Mileage-wise, uh, 
if I if I really pay attention, I could probably get 21. I have done it already. I don't do that anymore. I just want to see what I would get. So I have had 21 uh, pretty pretty easily. Normally it's getting about 19 to 20, so not too bad. I mainly do highway miles in this. Um, not a lot of city miles, so that's part of it, I'm sure. Um, you know, it is a it is a brick in the wind, so it's not going to get a lot of a lot of great mileage. So. Um, but for what it is, I'm pretty impressed, honestly. Um, so I'll take that, and being that it is a Sasquatch, um, I thought it probably would get not that great, but much better than I thought. I was thinking more like 16, 17. So I'm pretty pretty good with that. A lot of people have trouble with the windows. Um, that is one of the issues that I would say Ford needs to kind of address. Um, mine aren't too super bad, but when you do open your door, if you're, a, you know, from the outside, if you're, Pretty quick on the draw it will kind of make those the tops of those windows catch a little bit uh, as far as getting out um, going outside it's not too bad but um, you know that there there is something you could do a little bit to adjust that I haven't tried to do that yet um, but uh, but I think there is a little bit of a slow reaction there or Ford needs to do something with the, the windows as far as the uh, four door is concerned anyway. Um, trying to think uh, anything else on my mind. Uh, I had everything in the back, all the seats down, pretty easy to work. Um, all these, uh, pl plenty of room in the back. Um, I do wish, uh, you know, as far as the soft top goes, I knew more about keeping that back window, that back plastic where, you know, it won't scratch I've been kind of looking online and we may do a video on that, but it's really easy to scratch that plastic. So um, maybe we'll maybe we'll do a video on that and see if I can get some uh, feedback on how and what to do on not scratching your, your back plastic on these soft top. Heat, uh, air conditioning. Um, I've had them actually both running. Um, as far as heat goes, um, some people were saying they don't have any heat on the bottom of the floor when they go to the floorboard. I do, so I might not have a problem with that. Um, um, pretty darn good on the heat as far as the whole front part of this. I will say um, I do not feel a lot of heat cup or, or air coming out the bottom um, the outlets underneath the seats. So I don't know um, if there's just something, it's just outlets that just wards that, well, we'll put them in there, but they're not really gonna do anything. Or if it's just something else that Ford may have to take an issue with. But um, other than that, um, I mainly just drive this myself. I really didn't buy this to haul people with. I just want it for the extra cargo room when I fold down the seats. Not really an issue with me, um, you know, but I can see how that would be an issue with people who uh, do have kids and such. And they want it to be a little cooler in the back. And maybe uh, maybe, we'll, maybe Ford or somebody will come up with a fix for that, uh, getting more air out those bottom ducts. Um, the Lux package, is it worth it? To me, I really like it. I, I got my power up on the top there. Um, you know, and I know you can do some stuff with your phone and put the power, uh, put all that in there and install, uh, install it if you don't have the Lux package as far as for your phones. Um, they call that the mag lock or something like that. Um, I, I really like that part of it. I will say I love the heating, heated steering wheel. It is pretty darn hot. I was pretty impressed by it. Um, so yeah, uh, that is one of my favorite things about the Lux package is the heated steering wheel. I mean, I like going and driving without gloves on and you know, we don't get real cold here at all, but you know, there's times when, you know, it's gonna get a little cold down, down here and we need it and, I, and it works great. The heated seats, whoo, smoke it hot but I love it I like it I like the heated seats there they're great and obviously that's not the part of the Lux package I mean most of all have the heated seats but the heated steering wheel I love it um, I do like the uh, where the switch knobs um, actually show the temperatures um, in the knobs uh, for the air conditioning and the heating the, uh, system uh, I think they're changing that for 22 I wish they wouldn't I really like that particular feature it probably is more expensive to make that's probably why they're cutting back on it but I like that the sound system 
you know, I'm not a super sound guru. Um, it sounds great to me. I don't care. I just, you know, I play, I play music here and there. I don't know. I'm just not that into uh, super great sound systems. It just, I don't know. But for what I got, it works great for me. I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, I'm sure for people who are gurus, it probably could be better. But I like it. Um, what else on the Lux package? Um, I think that's pretty much it. I can think of, there are some things that are coming up. Uh, the trail maps and all that, Ford hasn't released that just yet, as far as I know. Uh, we do get some some advantage on that uh, for for a while as the Lux package. I'm anxious to see that. Um, and then, um, let's see here. I do like all the safety features as far as when you drive and, you know, the um, lane keeper and all that. Um, I do like that. I like to be able to see on the mirrors. If someone's on my side, I can tell you right already that has saved me a couple times with this vehicle being able to see that. And I do look in the mirrors a lot, but I didn't see those vehicles. So if it wasn't for that little warning system, man, I would have probably hit somebody. But I do like all that. Uh, this is a uh, Badlands, I've got to tell you that. And I have had no problems whatsoever with this thing. Uh, everything's worked like a bull, you know, it, it's bulletproof for, for me. I haven't had any problems with any of the features. I've had this in four wheel drive. Um, Snow a little bit. Um, I've had it um, sway bar disconnect and all that, and I've had no problems with it whatsoever. Um, so um, A1 plus plus and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's like I said, as far as power goes, excellent power. Um, honestly, I have to really watch it because I find myself that I'm going about 75, 80 miles an hour because it doesn't feel like I am, um, and so. It is uh, such a smooth riding vehicle and a smooth acceleration. Um, I do wish that this had the sport mode in it um, with this package. I would like that little extra off the line boost. Um, and I know there's some ways I could probably get that done, four scan and all that. And uh, I'm not sure if I want to do that, but uh, I would like to have it for sure. The ability uh, to tow, I have no idea. This does not have a tow package on it. Um, I want a tow package on it, um, and we, when we do get one, we'll we'll see. Uh, I've seen some really great uh, YouTubes on that. Um, some people have already done it, and so we may not actually do another one, but we might let you know what we've got. Uh, also, interior room, headroom, I'm just like about six foot, um, and uh, it's fine for me. I have no problems with it. I don't mind the in and out, getting in and out. I, I just don't have a problem. Without having a handle there it's pretty easy let's get to the point where we're talking about the windshield this is a rock magnet <laughs> this windshield will pick up every rock you can ever think of i really hope gorilla glass or somebody comes out with the windshield for the bronco i did email them a while back and they said they were thinking about doing it so that'd be great um because like a jeep this is a flat window and you you know you just know it it's gonna it's gonna attract some rocks right so, uh, and it has, I've been hit three times, two of them cracked. Um, one, I got repaired pretty quick and it's fine. The other one, I took it the next day, probably should have took it the same day, got it repaired. And then, um, first cold day we had, uh, wasn't that cold, about 20 degrees, 25 degrees, put the heater on and literally, man, I could watch this thing crack. Um, from where they fixed it so uh when they kind of drilled it out and all that but it just didn't hold so um yeah the uh the windshield guys uh, stay back from semis they will click this up people are kicking stuff up on the side of the road yeah um matter of fact i'm coming up on one right now it doesn't matter because my window's cracked we'll be getting a new one in here pretty soon but uh that is that is something you're gonna have to deal with with this vehicle but you know what it's all worth it to me because this is an awesome vehicle and i love the way that flat window looks and uh i wouldn't have it any other way so keep them breaking guys because it doesn't matter to me you know i i, I, I like the vehicle that much that I, I know that's part of it so um hopefully uh like i said that would be nice if a gorilla glass comes up with something i know some people are putting some thin plastic on there you know and i don't know that doesn't seem like it's going to work for very long um, that just seems like a temporary fix for, you know, for nothing, honestly. 
so yeah I'm driving you know so you start thinking about things you know you know so my my little uh, 10,000 mile review is pretty all over the place but hey it is what it is but I did think of a couple other things here so um, that instant on off and Platt Ford's got a button but man I just don't like it um, it just drives me nuts I wish there was just a permanent way to keep that off uh, so that's one of my big issues um, as far as anything I would change I would change that button where it's permanent um, also you know just as far as a recommendation I would recommend one of these Broncos to everybody I love this thing this is an incredible vehicle Ford did an exceptional job under honestly pretty hard conditions um, of all the things they had to kind of overcome to get this thing into production um, I, I just I can't give it four five six ten stars how many stars do you want uh, it is a great vehicle um, and uh, I, I highly recommend it to anybody who's considering on getting a Bronco um, I uh, you know as far as ride and all that this four-door is excellent um, I can't tell you a whole lot of two, a two door but I do know some people I've talked to um, who have two doors and they they love them too so you know recommendation wise not nothing I would change about it um, I know some people would not get this Sasquatch package because uh, they want to kind of like build their own or whatever and that's great too I mean I'm all for that as well uh, for me I just I knew I was gonna keep it for a while as with just limiting it to 35s um, and so I wanted it kind of ready to go I wanted that ability to bring it into the shop if there's something that was not right about it and not you know having to worry that if I lift it would it be you know still under warranty so I wanted some of those things on it so I would recommend to you all if you know if you're if you're worried about that stuff just get the Sasquatch package you know you there's some stuff you get with that you know you get your your lockers and stuff like that um, different axles um, so there's some cool stuff about it but um, you know that's one thing you know that I would totally recommend the Lux package I think it was worth it um, there's things about it I, I really really like um, but it's something you know if you want to get your Bronco a little bit earlier um, and it's gonna hold you up you know it's it's something that I wouldn't let hold me up just go ahead and uh, delete that if you can't if it's gonna hold you up on getting a new Bronco um, I do uh, I do we do we are gonna get a hard top one way or the other whether hopefully we can swap with somebody if they're, if they're not like, liking their soft top and I know some people are swapping um, or we'll buy an aftermarket version or maybe we'll be lucky and and uh, be able to buy you know a uh, Ford version of it um, I do want to say you know as far as the hard tops go I know there's some people making those um, I really want to be able to store my doors in the back and some of the issues are somebody's cut some of that that rear off and slanted a little bit and that's gonna make it super hard to fit any doors in it, if any so I don't I'm not really looking for an aftermarket um, like one of those but more of a full back uh, same as what Ford produces so we can put the doors in there can't tell you how easy it is to take the doors off um, or obviously the top uh, fully off because we haven't done that yet but uh, we'll do another review of that it comes on to but just overall everybody overall um, overall this is a great product so you will this is a great product overall so you will you will really be impressed with it you really like it um, and uh, and I think you will be kind of shocked at how much you like it so I you know I get on the various uh, sites and I see people you know complaining you know about this and that that and this and they finally get their Bronco and they're like it was really worth the wait and worth going through all that because it really is worth the wait and I know a lot of people are of you are you know you're just sick of waiting but just you're gonna get one and you're gonna love it and it's gonna be worth the wait 
And from that, we're gonna say goodbye for now, but please subscribe and uh, ring the bell and get, let's get this out there so we can get uh, more people on the channel so we can get some more good content. And I'm gonna try to um, bring you more content than I have been. Um, so I'm making an, an effort for that. And once I can get into that, that, um, that whole routine, I will turn on, I had it there for a little while, but I will turn on comments. I just don't want to turn on comments unless I can give you my full attention and, uh, and answer those comments uh, if you have questions. And I just don't think it's fair to you to, you know, for you to put a comment up and I can't, I can't get the time to do it. So, but if we get into a routine, uh, we will definitely uh, get those comments turned on because we, 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 it's not that I don't want to have comments. It just, I don't want to not be able to take the time to, to read them and answer them all and, and all that. Uh, I just don't think that'd be fair. But um, until next time, everybody, Bronco Mania. <laughs>